Hi there, Sophia Cichlids again. So, in the last uh, video I did the uh, update on our 75 gallon tank and my DIY filter where I use a pump. I gave you the parameters of our city water and uh, because we store our water in 18 gallon two 18 gallon storage bins, US gallons, uh, between water change day, we refill it at the end of every water change day. I wanted to see what our water was like after one day of sitting. So we're about 24 hours since we did a water change and refilled our bins. Uh, we always try to keep this much water in the bottom of the bin to preserve any beneficial bacteria. I had a cap full of prime. Um, half of the salt requirement API suggests and from there I just hope that the chlorine and whatnot is not killing any beneficial bacteria if it is so be it um, so I've tested this water now the API freshwater master kit has a pH high a pH uh, two pH ranges one basic regular and one high and I believe that um, the water came out at 8, 8 to 8.2 for the city water. So I tested it a day later after sitting, what did you say, Sophia, 7.4? Mm, yeah, 7.4. I uh, was trying to get some more light shining on it here. Yeah, I'd say 7.4 after a 24 hour period. Um, So this one will be ammonia. About 0.25 parts per million. Maybe 0.75 still. It's 25 I think. Yeah, 25. Yeah. Okay, so we're at 0.75 I think we said for the city water. Uh, so overnight it's come down, which is pretty good. We've had those bins about a month now. Um, we used some other bins that are here, but they were deteriorating. They weren't made out of the greatest plastic. This is our nitrate. Uh, zero. Yeah, nice. Well, the city water's zero, and our nitrate is at zero. Oh, okay. So, we got some ammonia droppage somehow. Anyways. Um, between using the API and uh, the store we go to, they use the Nutrifin test kit. Um, from what I can tell, Nutrifin doesn't do a high range and a low range, and I don't know exactly what range they do go up to. Um, but I'm finding this far more accurate. I went to do a water chest today on a tank that R45 bow that I was afraid I polluted last night. They told me I had no ammonia, no nitrate, and no nitrate. And when I did the test here, I found I had no ammonia, no nitrate, but we had uh, trace amounts of nitrate. So we're at the end of the cycle. Um, we've got beneficial bacteria, obviously, that within about a 24 hour period can take care of ammonia and nitrite, which is really good. So, and nitrates were almost completely gone. Um, the other thing I've noticed in the API master test kit, in the instructions, they say like for the nitrate that they are, sorry, I just got to find it, 4.4 4 times, sorry, here, we give readings 4.4 4 times less than this test kit. So others, uh, kits uh, because they're using something else to test the nitrate their kits test for uh, readings are 4.4 times less than what APIs will give you um, and then when it comes to the nitrites uh, they are 3.3 times less than the test kit provided by API so so far so good uh, we're really impressed with it we're really happy with it and it's nice to have one in our home now um, We've been doing it since September, we're now in January, and we've been doing it this time. I've had to walk over to the pet store and get it checked every time. We needed a test done, so now 
we can start doing it at home. Well, I see they, they provide you even with a log. So I was thinking of starting a log myself, but now I guess we can start just writing it down here. And then when we decide what uh, type of log we want to keep, uh, we'll transfer the results there. We're going to start keeping a log on uh, feeding, our test kit results. Um, anything we do to our tanks. We add plants, we add moss, what it does. So that way in the future we have a record and we can go back and say, yeah, remember that time we did this and this? What happened there? We don't recall uh, what were test results. Who remembers even five minutes later what their test results were? So anyways, API, freshwater test kit, highly recommend it over any other one out there. Thanks for watching Sophia Cichlids and we'll see you again soon.